Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mark with M2M Detail and today we're going to be installing PPF on the headlights, paint protection film. We're going to do the headlights on the STI and the fog lights on the STI. I'm also going to go through the slip solution so you guys understand how to mix it and make it if you guys buy one of the pre-made templates for your car. And yeah, pretty simple process so let's get to it. Alright guys, we're going to be making the slip solution right now. There's a tiny bit of wire in there. So what I do, I fill it up to 25 ounces. Distilled water, get my little thing. Oh, damn. So, we're right about 25 ounces right now. Get my Johnson baby shampoo. I'm gonna go one, two, three. All right, I do three squirts. Get it in here, mix it up real quick. That's going to be your slip solution for the PPF. For the tack solution, it's 20% alcohol. So 80% water and the last 20% you fill your bottle up is going to be alcohol. And that's your tack solution. All right, guys, another thing to do before you PPF, this is a 2016, so the headlights are kind of beat up a little bit. So I ran a, a heavy cut compound, D105 from McGuire's, or if you use a rubbing compound, just make sure you remove all the compound before you you know, put your PPF on, make sure it's completely clean, wipe it down with alcohol after that, make sure all the compounds gone. But yeah, these are pretty beat up. So I compounded them real quick and now they're ready to go. All right guys, now we're gonna be cutting out the templates. So we're gonna do 2000 paint protection. We've got Subaru. 2016. And Preds WX STI. So all your templates are going to be cut from SolarGuard. They do all the pre-made templates. So we are going to film in here. Cut. So you can see that we have our, let me zoom you guys in. So right here we have our headlights and then the fog lights. So now that we have our templates, we're going to cut them off, got them right here, we're going to take them over here. Yeah, it's got you pretty close up, hopefully everything looks good, but we're going to PPF this. It makes a mess, it does, you know, all this stuff everywhere. You want to try to let the dirt run down, that's why you put a bunch on. I'll grab our foam. Hands are wet. We're going to just place that on just like that. So guys, you want to position the film in the front and you see all these big fingers right here. Once we tack this area down, we'll be able to stretch it and get this back lined up. But first you got to make sure your front's in and we want this to be all perfect. It will keep falling down on you because it's so slippery. So you kind of want to just play with it. After about 30 seconds, you have to lift the film up and re-wet it. If not, you get some discolor. Uh. 
We got our yellow turbo. So you guys can see I tacked this area down. Now we're going to be able to play with this and move it around. Oh, what's up, brother? LRG. You got it, bro. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're good. And your name? Mark. Thanks, man. No problem, brother. Sorry about that. Yep. Just got a package. So now we got this side. We're going to want to pull right here. See how the fingers go away, see so they come back, now they're gone. So, you want to do this, overlapping passes, make sure your bottom line's lined up. You guys can see that now we're just going to deal with this ending area. So you guys see at the top right here, I have this finger. Let me show you how to get rid of those. Go on what the outside. Get our attack solution. Spray the inside. We'll do this one more time so I got more lube. And you're gonna come up at it at an angle. Just let it flow out. Remember you gotta go real slow. Cause you, See how the warrior gets right back in there? So you want to move that warrior away from it. See, it's pretty much gone right now. Grab our map tack. We're going to come at it one more time. Let it absorb the warrior. Now we're going to map tack all the edges. So if it's really stubborn like that, you're just going to have to be patient. So you can see how it keeps coming back right now.
Alright guys, so we just got done with it. Now I'm going to wipe everything down. It makes a mess. You have to use a lot of slip solution. Wipe everything down real good. So you probably don't want to do this if your car is really dirty. I just cleaned mine, so we're not going to have no scratches from wiping down. Another thing to remember, if you have liquid inside, it's okay. You just don't want to have the excessive amount. But the liquid will eventually dry out in the next like couple days to up until a week. If you have like um, any like discoloring, that will all go away. Now if you lay it down and you, peel, you push it like this and now we lift it up, you're probably going to have a bigger issue. That, that won't work out that good. You really don't want to pull the film up unless you really have to. Only time you can pull it up if you haven't tacked it yet. Right now we're tacked, so we don't want to pull the film up. And then the, um, remember 30 seconds is about your play time. If you leave it on the car more in 30 seconds, then you have to relift it, re-wet the area in the film. That'll make it a lot cleaner install. So just um, when you're doing this, make sure you're not distracted. Just start, get your starting point, and then work your way around. So I started right here in the corner, I tacked this down, right? And then I stopped right here because I had some fingers all right here. So now I stretched the film across. And you're going to see when the film comes, it's short. So you're going to have to pull it a little bit, but you got to make sure you have a tacking point. So get your tacking point in, work it a little bit. Where I saw my fingers were all in this region, right? So I pulled it across, which stretched the material over the corners and that difficult area. And it came out totally fine. This one was a little more stubborn, but I showed you guys how to fix that with some tack solution. And everything looks good. Now you don't have to worry about yellowing, your headlights getting chipped up from rocks. It's a self-healing material. So if it does get scratched or anything, you heat it up with a heat gun. And if it's not deep, like super deep, it will go back to the original shape, which is in the way it came. So yeah, it's pretty cool.